Tagging and rating your photos is a great way to sort through images quickly and easily and find the photos that you'd like to edit. I have a folder of images open and you'll see that a couple of the files have star ratings or color ratings at the top of the thumbnail. If I scroll through, there are a handful of images here that have star or color tags and you'll be able to see those. You'll also notice that quite a few of the images don't have either star ratings or color ratings. That means that I haven't gone through and chosen that I like them or think that they might have potential. Let me go ahead and show you how easy it is to go through and do this for your own images. We'll start by double clicking and zooming into a photo to take a closer look. I took a series of photos of these three women. If I use my arrow keys and I scroll to the right, you'll see that I've got a couple of the three of them together. I starred one of them and I went through and I edited it, but I'd like to choose another one. I really like this image here, so I'm going to click the one key on my keyboard to give it a one star rating. Down at the bottom of my screen, you'll see that now there is a one star rating for this image. You can also do this manually by clicking the amount of stars that you'd like to give this photo. If I know I really want to edit it, maybe I'll give it three or four stars so I can make sure that I know that this is a really good one. To give it a color rating, you can use the six, seven, eight, nine, and zero keys, or if you click on the small box icon at the bottom of your screen, you'll be able to see how those numbers correspond with specific colors. Red, for me, always means that it's a photo I've already edited. So I like to give something a red rating, meaning I don't need to edit that photo, I've already done it. If I know that I really want to edit a photo, I give it a green rating. I'll go ahead and select that, or you can hit the eight key on your keyboard. You'll also see that there's a full heart, an empty heart, and an X down at the bottom. This is a way for you to like or dislike an image if those are your preferred methods. I really like to use the star rating because I have a system that works for me. One star means I might want to edit it, two or three stars means I definitely want to edit it. And if it has a green color rating, it means it is ready to go and I really want to edit that photo. Let's go ahead and zoom back out to our full library view. I'll hit the G key on my keyboard. On the left-hand side of your screen, there's something called the filters pane. If I go ahead and turn this on, it gives me the ability to filter through and find the images that are rated at a specific star number, a specific color label, or whether I've liked or disliked an image. To do that, once your filters pane has been turned on, let's go ahead and say that I wanna look at all of the images that have a one star rating or higher. I'll go ahead and click on the one star, and you'll see all of these images have a one star or higher rating. If you click on the greater than or equal to sign to the left of the star rating, you can also choose whether you only want to look at one star images, images that are one star or less, or images that are one star or greater. Let's say that I also want to look at images that are one starred and I've already edited by using the red color label. I'll go ahead and leave the one star selected. I'll click the red label. And now you'll see I have two photos that I liked and that I've already gone through and worked on. By accessing star ratings, color labels, or liking and disliking your images, you can quickly and easily sort through your photos, finding images that you want to work on, making sure that you're not working on a photo that you've already edited previously, and saving photos for later that you don't wanna edit right now, but maybe want to. There are lots of different ways and you can create your own system and what works best for you.